Alrighty then, back once again for another reaction. This time it's MLP Season 8, Episode 18, Yakety Sax. Now, that is a glorious pun. I'll give it that. But this is obviously a Yak episode, um, which hopefully means we'll be getting to see a lot more of Yona, because Yona is fast becoming one of my favourite young six. As well as Gallus, thanks to that development he got a couple of episodes ago. But I really would love to get more Yona focus. That, that'd be really cool. I, I'm up for that. Uh, and some more Smolder focus as well. That one conversation with Spike, it's lost its flavour now. I need more. I need more Smolder. But, um... Yegedi Sex, the one thing I know about this is that we've got the return of Pink Amina. Now, that is a pretty big spoiler. And I am extremely sorry that I couldn't avoid that, but I think it's exactly because that's such a big thing that it was sort of impossible to avoid the spoiler, if that makes sense. Because I'm so delayed in catching up to these episodes, it was inevitable a picture of a greyed out flattened pinky just came into view. Like, I don't know if it was on a Twitter feed or on a thumbnail for a related video before I installed that extension that blocks the sidebar of thumbnails on YouTube, which I'm very thankful for in the wake of the finale airing in other countries. I have not had a sidebar for quite a while on YouTube, so spoilers are pretty locked down for episodes after this one. I literally have zero idea of what coming after this episode but yeah kind of disappointed to know about Pinky Mina but I'm hoping that's not like the big thing of the episode like it was for Party of One especially since it's a concept we've already seen before so I'm hoping it's got something more to do with the title of Yakety Sax uh, we know Pinky likes to play instruments so I'm wondering if uh, she's gonna join a yak band kind of thing but she just like when there was some cultural differences with the ponies trying to get along with them. I wonder if she's not on the same wavelength as them and it really depresses her that she can't, you know, do it right with them. I don't know. Only one way to find out and that's to watch it. So why don't we do that? Because I am on an MLP binge and I am feeling great. <laughs> Birdies and flutters. Oh my, this episode's very bright. At least my file. <laughs> wow, you are weak. Oh, huh? He's so bipolar. A bully one day so and sweetie pie summer. the next. We have to help it. Oh, listen to that suffering. It must be in horrible agony. <laughs> oh, it sounds like a herd of injured chimera. Chimera? Or it's Cerberus with sniffleitis and two of its heads and kennel cough in his third. Very specific. Or maybe it's... Wow, that is some phenomenal lighting work. <laughs> well, so it's like bagpipes. Uh, uh, very no poorly made bagpipes. Right, Angel? Is this like the one instrument she doesn't know how to play? <laughs> well, until now. Fuck, I made a mistake. Oh good, I do have background music. I was worried this might have been a leaked copy, 
with the brightness being a bit up and the fact that there was not very much background music in the opening bit, I thought, oh no, is this an episode without the background music? Is it the leak? It's from Yakistan. No. I did hear the opening jingle. <laughs> Not exactly. It's known to produce a fairly complicated, melodically rich and harmonious tone. Wow. Uh, are you sure we're talking about the same thing? I might have a leaked you, copy. Oh dear. Yes. Yes, I can. I can honestly say I've never heard anything like it in my life. Well, if you enjoy listening to my plane half as much as I enjoy playing... Oh, there's the background play, music. Okay. Totally I'm going to stop yeah, worrying please. about it. I am paying attention. Oh, I don't think that's necessary, Pinky. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> please, don't. There's a chance I I've been enjoying this banter. Here there. I just love playing so much! Huh? You complete me... Well, I for one am glad you're having so much but fun. But Gummy is going party. to be very jealous. Uh-huh. Sure. And it's great oh, We're going to get shipping fun out of those two, aren't we? And you're just waiting for me to finish talking so you can start playing again, aren't you? Uh, yeah, playing. Oh, if you're done. Anna, that was Anna, very seductive. Anna, I know what to do. <laughs> She's gone. Any ponyettes think that sounded like an apple core caught up in a pulp grinder? Apple You and your countryisms. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so maybe she isn't good yet, but she's our friend, and we should be. Okay, supported. so it's about yeah, she just new instrument. Playing. Gotta she practice. I get it. Her. Right? Yeah, we just need to be supportive of her practicing, so the getting better part happens as fast as possible. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the return of the giraffe! Which is still an anomaly. <laughs> You'd think Pinky would go into the Everfree or something. She can just loony tunes her way out of trouble. Go to the Dragonlands and say it's a pony tradition. <laughs> wow, Pinky is just being a nuisance. I saw a nice cameo from that gothic looking pony from the boutique. Oh, okay, that's pretty bad playing when the apples are exploding. <laughs> Drive by Bukake for the apple family. <laughs> I'm sorry. Absolutely right, Spike. Sometimes it is nice to get out of the library and be in the sun. With a book. Especially when you take the library. But, yes, yeah. <laughs> Great addition to the joke. We need to do something about Pinkie Pie's playing. Like, now! Is it really that bad? Does this answer your question? Silver. Uh, For second place. Second Garbage. Place. Throw it away. Oh, because Pinkie's playing. Reminds me of Jersey Mourinho throwing away his runner-up medal for the community shield. <laughs> a British football joke. And thanks to her fruit-blasting melodies, I got an orchard full of nothing but applesauce. And it ain't even sauce in season. And just look what her playing did to poor Fluttershy. <sighs> oh, Waffles. I'm tired. It practically took me all night to get the nursery back to sleep. I mean, I know we said we should all be supportive. That is very talented to be sleeping stood up. She's not getting any better. Yeah, if anything, she's gotten worse. Okay, maybe we can just pretend she's really good, and then I'll find a spell that will- Oh, no, no, no. <coughs> We're not going through that again. Remember how well it worked out when you weren't honest with Celestia about her acting Oh, ability? continuity. Mm, right. <laughs> 
We'll just have to tell Pinkie Pie she's not very good at the Ovidophone. Do you mean the bagpipes? Uh, or the equestrian equivalent? Well, there's no time like the present. I guess it's different because of the, the not quite the right thing jammed into the sack. Hmm. That's weird. I could have sworn this place was packed a second ago. Hey, God! Let me guess, Can the I yaks like it. Why have you stopped playing it's that beautiful it's music? Yeah, it involves your Gavitophone. <laughs> You mean the thing I love more than anything else in Equestria? My sun, my moon, my stars, my everything? My oh, husband? Tell me, tell me, tell me! Alright. Though you already in said it's honesty, your son, so that's kind of weird. Uh, in all honesty, Rarity has something to say. Pinky, <laughs> please, listen to Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Just pass it on, pass it on, pass it on. So Pinky. Remember when we all were shocked to discover Princess Celestia wasn't so good at acting? Yeah, she was awful. <laughs> but that's kind of a random thing. I'm listening. Oh, Bam, straight to the moon. Well, it's uh it's just you need to know the Get Starlight. Like... She straight talks. <sighs> Get Starlight. Pinky, we all support you, but we're afraid you're just not good at the Ovidophone. And none of us want you to waste your time on something you can't do well. Now that is the wrong thing to say. I, Why did I will you say. So? Now hold on. I don't necessarily oh, agree with the way me. Twilight worded Why? that. It's just a silly instrument. Well, you shouldn't not, not do something just because you're not good at it. You do something because you like it. I feel like that's something that's been established a lot in this show. One. Oh, I expected to hear a tantrum from inside. <laughs> no more Yovidophone playing for me. You like doing no it, so you should carry on doing it. I will say I don't that. Know what to do. But <laughs> oh, poor Pinky. Another beautiful day in Ponyville. Uh, Twilight, when was the last time you saw Pinkie Pie? Hmm, not since we told her to stop playing the Yavitaphone. I'm still surprised with how well she took it. I don't think she took it as well as you think she took it. <sighs> Top of the wow, too. there it is. Is it morning? I hadn't noticed. She's in That's her emo good. phase again. There you are. We've been looking all over for you. It turns out, Pinky may not have taken our critique of her Yuvidaphone playing in the spirit with which it was intended. I saw. Well, you worded it very wrong, Twilight. <laughs> There's gotta be something we can do. I'm sure there is, Spike. We just have to figure out what. You should have just suggested that she practice oh, out of earshot. What's the big deal? There's so many other things she's really good at doing. Yeah. Not being able to play the Yavitaphone is nothing compared to all the things she can do well. And that's exactly what we'll but show But you her. can do things I that you can't do well. stuff she likes and is good at doing, she'll cheer right back up and forget all about the Yavitaphone. Hoo-wee! That's a great idea! Wow, it's Let's spreading. Started. Apparently there's not a moment to lose. <laughs> oh, wow, this is great. Okay, I really like this. <laughs> Normal scenes, but if I were emo instead. <laughs> this tea tastes like nothingness. Boom! Yep. Classic. <laughs> Ew! Is it a really good- is it really a good idea to have these two in the same kitchen when Pinky's like this?
<laughs> wow, that's some pretty weak makeup. If it could just get sneezed off. I'm guessing no pony had any success. <sighs> My party cannon idea was a real dud. Don't blame it was yourself. a real blowout. None of us did any better. Well, not to worry. I came up with the perfect solution. Instead of trying to remind her what she's good at, we'll remind her what she's best at, and that's oh. being our friend. We're going to throw her a Pinkie Pie appreciation party. That's a wonderful idea. If any pony needs to know how much she's appreciated, it's Pinkie Pie. We can get the whole town involved, just so she can see what a good friend she is to every pony. Then I hereby officially declare today Pinkie Pie Appreciation Day. You know how you can appreciate her? <laughs> Letting her play a damn instrument. <laughs> the obvious compromise was so obvious that Twilight straight up missed it. Like, practice all you want, but it's annoying us, like, with no, no offense. Sure is. Okay, who's gonna get it? No need. Gummy's on it. In fact, there he is now. All she needs is to practice somewhere a little more out of earshot, and she's absolutely fine. Uh, Gummy, you were supposed to bring Pinkie Pie. What happened? <laughs> oh, wow. What coming? a story. Fluttershy, can you understand what he's saying? I could, if he was talking. Let me try <laughs> He's thinking Gummy, internally, that's Gummy's thing, Pinkie I remember. Pie? He's busy philosophizing. Maybe we should just go and get her. F philosophizing? <laughs> he's what having a philosophy moment. What is going on here? This decor is dreadful. And all of Pinky's stuff is gone? Back to the rock farm. Excuse me. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, moving in with Maud. Okay, good excuse to see Maud again. Um, Maud, can I ask you a question? You just did. Well, can I Thanks ask you a question? Thanks for playing. You just did. Thanks oh, for playing. How about if I ask you a... Wait. Oh, for goodness sakes. Maud, all of your sister's things are gone. Explain. No, they're not. They're right here. Thanks for playing. Have you seen Pinkie Pie? Lots of times. I grew Thanks up with for her. playing. <laughs> okay, let's try this a different way. Why did you pack up all of Pinkie's things? She asked me to. What? Thanks for playing. Pinkie told me to pack up her room and take everything to the rock farm. What? There we go. She said she wouldn't need them since she's moving to Yak Yakistan. Oh, okay. So there's the yak in the title. <laughs> sorry if you keep doing that, but sorry, they were going to keep repeating something. I was going to repeat something. Like it's only Pinkie's fair. To yak yak <laughs> uh, Rarity, she did say that. Uh, terribly sorry, Applejack. Must have misheard you. It almost sounded like you said she did say that. <laughs> Maud, I don't understand. Why would Pinky leave Ponyville? Yeah! Why would she want to go live with the Yaks? <laughs> Racist. She said a her life had no meaning, and at least in Yak Yakistan she could listen to the Masters play. She hoped that would give her some semblance of happiness. Okay, so the well, Yaks no. originally played it. No, 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 That will not do. I say we go to Yak Yakistan right now and make her come back home. We can't just march up there and tell Pinky what to do. But... We didn't even get you a chance did. to say goodbye. Well, we may not be able to go to Yak Yak. I think you did tell her what to do. But we didn't you? Say goodbye, By making her pack up the and instrument? If we happened to mention how much her friendship <laughs> means to us, and how much we'd miss her if she were gone forever, and then she decided to come back home on her own. Then what are we waiting around here for? Let's get going to Yak Yakistan! Well, okay, back here. We're almost there. That's a really good movement with the balloon. Pinky's it's also nice that that balloon's some... still getting used. Is that the music of the Yovitophone? Are you when sure? played correctly. Because that actually sounds kind of good. Oh, I'm sure. Come on.
nice. I'm glad that it actually can sound good. And they're not doing the whole Spongebob, you know, we like the bad sound kind of thing. What, what I expected. Shh. No, sorry. Oh, shh. I said I was sorry. <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> yeah, I think you've had it enough. But Pony already had 25 ice cream. I said give me another! They did the joke. Thank you. Thank you for doing the joke. The TVY version, but you did the I joke. Feel nothing. Maybe we can help with that. Of all the ice cream joints oh, in all the yak okay. countries in the world, you, you had to come in a mine. Just hear us out. We respect your decision to move to Yak Yakistan, but we just wanted to remind you how much you mean to us and how much we'd miss you if you decided to move here for. Fine, I'll move back to Ponyville. Wow, that was a lot easier than I thought. We're awesome. <laughs> yeah, let's just celebrate right in front okay. of her. What's wrong? That's what's wrong. I thought coming here and listening to real Yavidaphone playing would make me happy. It makes but it's me just not worse. your husbando. I'm never gonna sound like them. Yavidaphone fan pony watch instrument while Yigrid visit little Yak's room? Eh, if I can't play it, I might as well do menial chores for those who can. Okay, so Pinkie Pie is obviously still miserable. Oh, I can't bear to see her like this. Indeed. <laughs> but what else can we do? Let her play her instrument. Maybe not. Look. <laughs> now, now, don't Sorry. cheat on yours. I forgot what an awful Yavidaphoner I am. Playing it makes you so happy. Oh, it sure does. I mean, it did. Then you should never stop. So say we Which is what you should have said in the very first place, but and I thought it was painfully obvious. Because I wasn't good, and we were wrong. Playing makes you happy, and as long as it makes you happy, it doesn't matter how good you are. So get up there and show these yaks how it's done. I don't know if you've noticed, but the audience are all yaks, and they kind of have issues with things that aren't perfect, <laughs> like my playing. Pinkie Pie. You get up on that stage and yeah, play. but because it's music, like it. if it comes so from the heart, the is that considered us. perfect by default? Well, okay. Are we going that cheesy I'll route? Say so. Or is she suddenly going to be amazing? Gentle yaks, performing for her very first time here. Let's give a big round of stops for Pinkie Pie. You better start playing. We are number one. What to do? <gasps> that was a face. <laughs> yeah, we like it. <laughs> Yovidophone is instrument of happiness. So playing Yovidophone make Pony happy. Pony playing is perfect. Well, exactly. In case, let me play you the song I just wrote two seconds ago. It's called "I've Got the Best, Most Supportive Friends a Pony Could Ever Ask For." Uh, except for those five seconds when you didn't, and, and they kind of caused two. this. And you know what to do. <gasps> Okay, let me start right off the bat by saying I am aware this episode caused a bit of a ripple. There are some people that outright hate this episode. There are some people that dislike it, and some people that think it's just another episode. I see very crystal clearly where the divide is here. I th at least I think I do, from my perspective. There will be the people who think that Pinky was being kind of, um, like, unaware by performing directly in Rarity's Boutique and places like that and at Rainbow's show and not doing it privately like where Fluttershy first discovered her. 
there'd be nothing wrong if you just kept to places like that while playing that way. You know, it's Twilight only needed to tell her, oh, because you're not quite there yet, it's causing a bit of a disturbance. No offence to you, but it would be a lot more beneficial for you and everyone else if you could play to your heart's content in a more private location. That is not an unreasonable thing to ask. So... That might be the second point of contention people have with this, because it's my main point of contention that Twilight caused this problem, in a way, by using such totalitarian language from the start. Like, oh, you're not good at this, so you should just stop. You know, that isn't exactly what she said, I know, but, you know, just paraphrasing. That was entirely the wrong thing to say. Like, you can be a terrible karaoke singer, but as Mabel said, it's not about sounding good, it's about sounding bad together. And in that same vein, doing things you like is about doing it because you like it. It's not about being good. And if it annoys other people, then they should speak up and say that it does. And depending on the type of person you are, you can then accommodate to that. Like, her friends should have known that if she was so visibly happy playing it, that she would be open to compromise as long as she got to keep playing that instrument. Like, that's so easy of a concept. <laughs> I, I think I definitely see where some of the frustration is coming from, because I'm frustrated as in being on Pinky's side in this. At first I thought that people might have been annoyed with Pinky in this episode, like, uh, based on the antics she was going through near the start, but then I quickly came to see that this was an entirely main five generated problem. Like... If they'd have gone for the compromise from the start, then none of the second or third act would have happened. They literally just had to say to Pinky what the issue was and offer, you know, some sort of alternative where she could keep playing because that's what she liked to do. Like, after eight seasons, you know, ah, I really try not to look at episodes too critically, but when they really try and centre a whole episode around something very simple and something that shouldn't be messed up from the mouth of a princess of friendship for such for such a topic it's <sighs> that is annoying I, I, I agree that is annoying I mean <sighs> because you can't even like sit back and try and enjoy it as you know just a cartoon in front of me because the whole time I'm only feeling sorry for Finky and wondering how long it's going to take Twilight to be like, no, it's okay, you can play your instruments. She, she just needs to know that compromise of just, you know, you know. Uh, it just needed offering from the start and it, it would have been fine. It would have been absolutely fine. But hey, they've reached a good conclusion in the end because now Pinky, when she wants to play, she's got adoring yaks that love hearing her play because they know it's all about the soul behind the playing. It's not necessarily how it sounds, so that's good of them. That really adds another dimension to the yaks that I really like. And, you know, that they appreciate the soul of music. That's very cool. But I just feel like Twilight dropped the ball so, so hard. Uh, so hard that it kind of rocked me a little bit. Like the ball was made of concrete or iron or something. Uh, yeah, yeah. I completely understand anyone that had a grievance with this episode. But I will say this. I don't hate this episode. I don't even dislike this episode. This whole time I've been talking about what I would call a gripe with this episode. It's not a judgement for the episode as a whole, because there were lots of things I did like about this episode. I liked the amusing return of Pink Mina, but more toned down. So instead of being psychotic, she was a bit more of a discorded grey, and like just being a bummer about everything. And to see Pinky acting in such a way is a great twist against the norm, which made her seem amusing. 
you know, there was also some nice banter that I did catch between the ponies, having to listen to Pinky's music. I did like the pacing of the episode, how it moved from place to place. I liked getting to see Maud again. And as I said, the whole thing with the yaks and their music traditions and all that stuff. You know, those elements combined to make this an enjoyable enough episode to rewatch. And I will be rewatching this, you know, because I, there are things that I want to, like, listen to more clearly. But. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I've, I, I lost my train of thought just then, but I think I've said everything that I wanted to say. Because, yeah, that's it, that's it. I've got my train of thought. Like, there was a lot of things that I did enjoy about this episode, and it makes it an episode I would gladly rewatch. It's just that that one gripe is a pretty major one, and it's probably what stops this from being a five-star episode. I'm probably going to have this as one of my highest fours, but a four is still damn good. Fours are easily replayable, so it's not an insult to the episode. I think this one's going to be a grower. I mean, I will become more and more okay with Twilight's mistake upon repeated rewatches, because I understand that when you're so annoyed by a noise or an action or something, you might be tempted to try and get it cut off entirely. So, you know, if they could have made it a bit more obvious that that's what they were going for, maybe I'd have been okay with it, but it clearly wasn't. It was just Twilight choosing her wording so, so poorly, and not realising right off the bat that you can just compromise with your friend you've known for years and you're so close like sisters with, and you can clearly see that she puts a lot of passion and love into this instrument. You, you should just know, it should be natural, it should be a first instinct, the first thing you say. You, you, <sighs> just telling her to give up on something that she's not good at goes against many of the morals this show is taught. It feels very, very jarring, and yeah, yeah. I'm beating a dead horse at this point, no pun intended, so I'll just leave you with the... I thought this episode was good. It, it was good. So I shall see you guys next time.